In this video, we will look at tracing a bitmap image. After selecting the bitmap that you wish to use, click on Next and that opens the artwork image. Place a dot by Trace and click on Next. The Trace Image dialog box opens and this can be resized if you wish. You have four options to choose in the Trace Image dialog box. You can choose to scale the image, place a check mark by scale, and then use the up and down arrows, or enter a new value and the percent will update. This will always change the scale proportionally. The accuracy of the image can also be changed. This changes the amount of detail in the final design. The default value is 5. The values range from 1 to 8. The higher the number, the more accurately the design will align with the image. The preview image is automatically updated when this value changes. Color limit can be altered from 2 to 99. This affects the number of colors in the traced image. You can always change the number of colors once the design is converted. The software limit for thread colors is 20 colors, and for painted designs, it is 99. With Use Background, you can make the background transparent. Click Use Background and move the cursor over the preview. Click on the background color to make the background transparent. Only one color can be selected. I'll uncheck this to bring my design back where I have two colors. After choosing the parameters, click on Trace at the lower right corner of the dialog box. The image is processed and then you can click Finish in the Color Reduction dialog box. Bitmaps will always add a white background to the image it surrounds. You click in the corners and you can delete this background area by pressing Delete on your keyboard. It may take multiple clicks, as this flower did, to eliminate the entire background. Once the design is created, you can edit the design or export it to the machine to be painted by clicking on the export icon. The default settings for tracing a bitmap are a painted fill with no outline.